Good evening and a warm welcome to the fourth annual Forbes Woman Africa Awards. I'm Fifi Peters. And I'm Tanya Habimano. And we are honored to be here with you tonight as we recognize remarkable women from across the continent. These past two days of the Forbes Woman Africa Leading Women Summit showcased the journey of a few awe-inspiring women. And tonight we celebrate the women who have influenced another generation of ladies across Africa with their powerful stories. A warm welcome to all of our finalists who are not here with us tonight but are tuning in safe from home. Tonight is all about you. We salute you for making it this far. Like last year, this year too, the event is being hosted virtually. To our viewers joining in from Facebook Live, streaming directly on the Forbes Africa Facebook page, we look forward to interacting with you as the evening unfolds. As we celebrate the remarkable women tonight, be sure to share your experience using the hashtag L WS 2022. Before we proceed with the formalities, I would like to recognize our sponsors, MasterCard and MultiChoice Group, and our partners, Forbes Africa and CNBC Africa. Thank you to all of our speakers, sponsors, and the teams who have worked tirelessly to make today possible. With that said, we have a tremendous evening ahead of us, so let's get straight into it. And we do, because every year an expert jury selects nominees in eight different categories based on their distinction, merit and momentous milestones. 2022 will uh, yet again see the following categories unfold. The Forbes Woman Africa Young Achiever Award, the Social Impact Award, Technology and Innovation Award, Academic Excellence Award, the Sports Award, and the Entertainer Award. Of course, we still also have the Businesswoman Award, and finally, the cream of the crop, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, these are women who have successfully beaten the odds to afford your head and achieve their dreams in the process, uplifting others and charting the course for development and nation building. We can never forget those who came before us, those who placed footprints in the sand for many generations to come. As the world, we have endured the loss of many loved ones, and among them are so many brilliant women. Tonight, we remember them for their leadership and contribution that has shaped the lives of women today. Let us take a moment to remember the women who we have lost in the past year. Each name honored tonight represents someone who is deeply missed and fondly remembered.
Despite the fact that our voices have reached a crescendo that cannot be silenced or ignored, our work is far from over. And tonight is another chapter in our story of the women who will continue to lead the way in the coming years. Before we move on to recognizing tonight's winners, let's take a look back at the previous years of the Forbes Women Africa Awards. much appreciation for you joining us today at the very first Forbes Woman Africa Awards. In my world, responsibility is shared based on our contribution and inherent strengths and not on gender or ethnicity. We have to ensure that the younger generation are mentored to become mothers and leaders of the future. We equally have to invest into the future. It would be a great pleasure to announce that it's uh, KZN's very own Yolanda Mabanga. <laughs> When I saw young women doing what was thought to be impossible. We all have the power to influence change, but also the responsibility to see that change kind of follow through and be complete. Aside from the titles, you know, all of us can have a genuine relationship where we're just looking for each other's best interest at heart. So we are the power, really. When you have a sister, when you have a brother, when you have someone to reach out to, you are not without power. It can be anything you want to be, and just motivation and determination to be that person. African child, your gifts matter. African child, your story matters. So fear not to chase your dream. Let us empower each other to change the status quo and level the playing fields. If you educate one girl in your lifetime, you'll be part of the change needed and not part of a compromise that is expected. We 
warm welcome to those of you who have just joined us for what will be a remarkable evening as we celebrate a unique collection of female leaders and trailblazers from across the African continent. I encourage you to join all the conversations on social media using the hashtag FWA Awards and LWS 2022. And remember to tag at Forbes Women Africa, at Forbes Africa and at Leading Woman Summit. We launch tonight's lineup of awards with the Forbes Woman Africa Young Achievers Award. The award celebrates the young African woman who has dared to dream and dismantle shackles to make a difference. The winner of the Forbes Woman Africa Young Achiever Award has achieved transformative change for the greater good of the community and society she is in. The sector she is in could be business, arts, politics, sports, or entrepreneurship. She has vision, integrity, and would have demonstrated passion in her area of work and is a trendsetter and inspiration for other young people. To announce the first award of the night, may I call upon uh, Roberta Nyka, the Managing Director of ABN Group. The winner of the Forbes Woman Africa Young Achiever Award in 2022 is passionate about youth empowerment, education and community development. She's in the front line fighting gender-based violence and actively providing support for victims. She's the founder of an NGO called She Is Brave, a woman empowerment and advocacy organization and has worked closely with the United Nations agencies in resolving social ills. She is the bridge to the, to the development of young people in Africa and the world. And she is Amanda Nongha from South Africa, winner of the 2022 Forbes Women Africa Young Achiever Award. The Forbes Women Africa Young Achievers Award, Amanda Nongha, founder of She Is Brave, Amanda Nunkra is an agent of change, a youth leader with a passion for youth empowerment. She is the founder of She Is Brave, a non-profit initiative geared at empowering young women and girls to unleash bravery and their full potential through education and community development. She is an influential leader who's at the front line of fighting gender inequality and gender-based violence in South Africa. Amanda is truly a remarkable change agent, a beacon of hope and an inspiration to many. She is young, brave, and fearless in speaking truth to power. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge and thank Fab's Women Africa for such an initiative of honoring and celebrating young African women who are contributing so greatly in their communities, countries, and in Africa as a whole. In the midst of a pandemic and uncertain times, young leaders are choosing to the change that they want to see and i feel very honored to be recognized among such world changes and young african women who are doing so great with that said i would like to thank fops women africa so much for honoring us and recognizing us indeed we are the ones that we have been waiting for thank you Joe E. Lewis once said, you are only young once, and if you work it right, once is enough. Congratulations, Amanda. Our next award is the Forbes Woman Africa Social Impact Award, honoring a public servant who through her work has made a remarkable difference in bringing about sustainable impact and change in the lives of the people she serves and reaches. The award seeks primarily to identify and recognize an individual for her exemplary and unique contribution towards the development of Africa, be it for civil work, social upliftment or healthcare. The award will be to an individual that sets a standard of excellence that is an inspiration for others. And to announce the winner, let's welcome Saloni Waihi, patron of the ABN Education Trust. The winner of the 2022 Forbes Women Africa Social Impact Award is an award-winning woman of science 
She is an ophthalmologist, internationally renowned for performing sight restoring surgeries for thousands in Namibia's most remote villages and towns, completely free of charge. Since 2005, she has served as the head of ophthalmology at Winter Hospital, a government hospital in Namibia, and is known for her humanitarian work. I am referring to none other than Dr. Helena Dume, who wins the 2022 Forbes Women Africa Social Impact Award. The Forbes Women Africa Social Impact Award. Dr. Helen Andume, Head of Ophthalmology, Fintuk Hospital. Dr. Helen Andume is a Namibian ophthalmologist, internationally renowned for her humanitarian work, performing sight restoring surgeries free of charge. To date, Ndume has restored sight to over 35,000 individuals. Many people of our old people have been blinded by cataract for so many years. Blindness was normally an acceptable thing that when you go old, then you get blind and that's the end of it. Her relentless efforts to eradicate preventable blindness are both inspirational and commendable. She has received many honorable awards, including becoming the first recipient of the United Nations Nelson Rolin Flatla Mandela Prize, an award given for her dedicated service to humanity. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the tremendous honor of being nominated and selected for the Forbes Women Africa Social Impact Award. To Forbes magazine, I extend my deepest thanks and appreciation for this nomination. Amongst other highly qualified nominees, this award has only further inspired me to continue striving to build a team of committed young men and women to carry on fighting relentlessly on this mission. Further, I hope to inspire other women to act on their passion and understand that they too can make a difference in the world. To these women I say, despite any adversity, despite many difficulties that may stand in your way, never stop working to achieve your goals. That will make the world a better place for everyone. This award should not be seen as an award given to me personally, but to all hardworking members of the Namibian Blindness Prevention Team. I thank you. Amazing stalwarts that these awards are uncovering. Those doing incredible work in Africa's most remotest parts. And now on to the next one, the uh, Forbes Woman Africa Technology and Innovation Award. And it is given to female tech entrepreneurs, innovators and scientists. The winner of this category has transformed a market, a company, a product or service and is pioneering her organization in innovation and scripting the future in her chosen field. The winner will exemplify outstanding leadership in technology and business. And to present this crucial African award, I have the pleasure of inviting Ebehiji Momo, the area head of West Africa for MasterCard. The winner of the Forbes Woman Africa Technology and Innovation Award this year is a fintech entrepreneur in Africa's biggest economy, Nigeria, making waves in the financial services sector with her digital saving and micro investment platform. As the co-founder and the CEO of Piggyvest, she's working towards equity, diversity, financial inclusion on the continent. She was Forbes Africa 30 on the 30 list maker in 2019 and in 2020. Also co-founded the Feminist Coalition in Nigeria. She is Odunayo Eweni from Nigeria, the winner of the 2022 Forbes Woman Africa Technology and Innovation Award. Congratulations, Odunayo.
Odunayo Eweniyi is the co-founder and chief operations officer of PiggyVest, Nigeria's largest digital and investment platform. She's an award-winning fintech executive, also known for her work advocating for female empowerment. In 2020, she co-founded two women-focused non-profit organizations, Women Coalition and Wine & Wine Nigeria, both working towards promoting equality for women with a core focus on education, financial freedom and inclusion. She has won numerous awards and featured in publications such as Forbes Africa, Time and Bloomberg. She's a true entrepreneurial powerhouse, a conscious creator who's transforming the tech space with women in mind. I'm so honored to be receiving this award today and I'm so thankful to the Africa Business Group for the recognition. I don't take it for granted. I believe that as women in technology, we have a responsibility to hold the door open for the generation that comes after us. Women like Ms. Funke Opeke held the door open for my generation and made it easier. I'm very firmly committed to making it easier for the next generation of women in technology, to make it easier, to help them carve a path, and to also help them make an impact in tech as it is in Africa today. Of course, I wouldn't be here without the collective effort of my team at Piggyvest, with whom I've worked for the past six years to build the product that you all have, um, know and love today. I'm also thankful to my co-founder at First Check Africa, who I'm working with to get more capital into the hands of female founders so that we don't get lost in the pipeline. And finally, I'd like to say thank you to my family, especially my dad and my mom, who've raised me to be the kind of woman that says no to injustice. Representation matters, and because representation matters, we must continue to make space for women in technology, to hold more space for them, to be able to have their efforts recognized and make their mark on the African tech ecosystem as a whole. We deserve to be here. Thank you. That was a big win. And now on to the next award, the Forbes Woman Africa Academic Excellence Award. The winner of this category has an outstanding academic track record and has invested her time and work in the community and country that she serves in. This award honors an individual who is imparting her knowledge and skills, but also seeks to recognize a leader serving as an inspiration to other young people. And to announce this winner, May I please call upon Renuka Mithil, the Managing Editor of Forbes Africa. The winner of this year's Forbes Women Africa Academic Excellence Award is from the beautiful hill country of Rwanda. In 2018, when she returned home after her fellowship in Toronto, she became known as Rwanda's first female neurosurgeon. A consultant of the Rwanda Military Hospital in Kigali, she has set up a neurosurgery unit and treated several adult and pediatric patients with various neurosurgical conditions. A recipient of numerous awards, she's also the chairperson of African Women in Neurosurgery Africa. Dr. Claire Karachesi from Rwanda is the winner of the 2022 Forbes Women Africa Academy Excellence Award. The Forbes Women Africa Academic Excellence Award. Dr. Claire Karekezi, Chair of the African Women in Neurosurgery. Dr. Claire Karekezi is the first female neurosurgeon in all of Rwanda. She completed her neurosurgery training at the World Federation of Neurosurgical Society's Rabat Training Center for African Neurosurgeons at Muhammad V University in Rabat, Morocco. Karekezi has completed two international clinical fellowships one at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, a Harvard Medical Center teaching hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, and the University of Toronto, where she practiced at Toronto Western Hospital in neuro-oncology and skull-based surgery. Since returning to Rwanda, Karakezi has become an inspiration to young people interested in STEM, especially to young girls. While the task of being one of only five neurosurgeons serving a population of 12 million is daunting, Karikezi is dedicated to implementing what she has learned to improve the quality of life and healthcare in her country. She serves as a consultant neurosurgeon at the Rwandan Military Hospital in the country's capital, Kigali, where she has helped to establish a neurosurgery unit and has treated a variety of adult and pediatric patients with neurosurgical conditions. I'm humbled and grateful to receive this award. First, 
I thank God, my family and friends, teachers, mentors, and all the supporters in my life. I couldn't have made it alone without the immeasurable support since day one. The Forbes Woman Africa Academic Excellence Award means a lot, not just to me. It's a huge recognition of the hard work behind achieving excellence in any STEM field, especially the work of African women and girls. This represents not just my work, but also the excellent work of the other nominees, the other incredible African women scientists defying the statu quo, making their impact in their communities. To all the African young girls who dare to dream big, I just say there's no limitation to whoever you want to become. You just need to keep working hard, never give up. The best is yet to come. Thank you. Before we move on to the second half of the awards on behalf of Forbes Women Africa, I would like to extend a very special thank you to our sponsors and partners who have shared our vision and supported these awards over the years. The success of the awards is through your continued support and participation. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are unable to give our winners their duly deserved round of applause, I encourage you to join me in celebrating these women on social media and join the conversation using the hashtag FWA Awards and LWS 2022. And now on to women in another exciting field, sports. The Forbes Woman Africa Sports Award is handed to a female game changer who has a proven track record in the field. The winner will exemplify outstanding leadership and will have achieved national and international recognition, bridging cultures and countries with sport. To announce this distinct award, please may I call upon Mr. Sam Bembe, the non-executive director of the ABN Group. Greetings. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2022 Forbes Woman Africa Sports Award. This is a young woman who has transformed herself into South Africa's top women swimmer. At the age of 20, the breaststroke specialist became first South African woman in eight years to earn a medal in the pool. At the Commonwealth Games, in Australia by securing both the 100 and the 200 meter titles. She has clocked many impressive firsts since. Her most recent being the gold at the Tokyo Olympics in Japan in 2021. She is none other than the current world record holder, Tatiana Skunma, the winner of the 2022 Forbes Woman Africa Sports Award. The Forbes Woman Africa Sports Award. Tatjana Schoonmaker, Olympic athlete. Tatjana Schoonmaker is a competitive swimmer who represents South Africa internationally. She raked in multiple medals as a teenager at the 2015 African Games and went on to reach the podium at the 2017 World Student Games. Reaffirming her talent in the 2018 season, the then 20-year-old breaststroke specialist became the first South African able-bodied woman in eight years to earn a medal at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Schoonmarker stunned Olympic viewers with her historic win in the women's 200-meter breaststroke at the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. The 24-year-old claimed both a gold medal and a new world record. She's the first woman to swim the event in under 2 minutes 19 seconds, a record set in 2013. Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for Hawks Africa for choosing me and for yeah, bless, well, giving me this award. It's such an honor to receive this award and it's so amazing that we're able to celebrate women, women in sports as well and yeah, just to be recognized for um, the achievements. So yeah, I just want to say again, thank you so much. Um, hopefully next time we can all meet each other live and um, yeah, just to get to know each other more. Um, but yeah, this is the new thing, <laughs> virtual. So again, thank you so much. Uh, what an honor it is.
Wow, a true star. And there's more coming up. The next award of the night is the Forbes Woman Africa Entertainer Award, given to a female artist or creative entrepreneur with a star background in the entertainment industry. This category includes musicians, vocalists, dancers, theater and stage performers, actors and comedians. The winner exemplifies outstanding leadership in her chosen field and has achieved national and international fame for her proficient talent. And to announce the winner of this category, songwriter four-time grammy award winner angelique kijo is one of the greatest artists in international music today as a performer her striking voice stage presence and fluency in multiple cultures and languages have won her respect from her peers kijo has cross-pollinated the west african traditions with elements of r b funk and jazz and european and latin american influences she has been dubbed Africa's premier diva and named one of the world's 100 most influential people in 2021. Her accolades also include the World Economic Forum's renowned Crystal Award, Amnesty International's Ambassador of Conscious Awards, and the German Sustainability Award. Today, Angelique travels the world, advocating on behalf of children in her capacity as a UNICEF and Oxfam Goodwill Ambassador. She is the spokesperson for the Affirmative Finance Action for Women in Africa, an initiative that helps to close the financing gap for women entrepreneurs in Africa. She has also created her own charitable foundation, Batonga, dedicated to support the education of young girls in Africa. Hello everyone, my name is Angelique Kijo. I am very honored to receive the Forbes Woman Africa Entertainer Award. Thanks for thinking of me to help me celebrate the culture of my continent, to help women of Africa to shine in art everywhere in the world. Thank you so much. I am sure you will all agree with me that this evening is unraveling a galaxy of stars. And there's two more to go before we wrap up the stellar night. The next category is all about business, one of my favorite subjects, uh, the Forbes Woman Africa Business Woman Award, to be exact. Now, the criteria for this category is a woman who has already proven herself as an outstanding founder and CEO, whether leading her own business or a corporate organization. She's shown positive financial results and registered growth. She is a veteran of the boardroom and a visionary in a male-dominated world, also using her success to better lives. To announce this important award, I would like to welcome back Roberta Naika, the Managing Director of the ABN Group. It gives me an absolute pleasure to announce the 2022 Forbes Women Africa Businesswoman of the Year Award. The winner is a trendsetter in Africa's male-dominated mining sector. As the founder and CEO of Global Empire Legacy Limited, 
She has navigated this industry to create one of Ghana's leading gold export houses. She's an inspiration to many women in the artisanal small scale mining sector and believes in linking mining to the shared global commitment of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Her vision is to grow the sector in a sustainable manner, contributing to wealth creation and poverty alleviation. The 2022 Forbes Women Africa Business Woman of the Year Award goes to Joanna Gian Kucho. The Forbes Women Africa Business Woman Award. Joanna Guyan Cujo, CEO, Golden Empire. Joanna Guyan Cujo is a self accomplished, successful Ghanaian entrepreneur. She is the founder and chief executive officer of Golden Empire Legacy Limited. Her ancestors have made a significant contribution to the growth of Golden Empire into one of Ghana's major worldwide gold dealers. Kujo began her career as a small-scale miner and has fought her way up the ranks, competing favorably with her male counterparts in the largely male-dominated industry. She is an inspiration to many women, working in the artisanal and small-scale mining industries. Not forgetting her humble beginnings, she has established the Joanna Guyan Foundation to specifically meet the needs of poor, vulnerable, and less privileged in society. In recognition of her visionary leadership, Kujo has been awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of Cambodia, a certificate of honor from the Order of the Noble Hand of Honor. Wow, I've made it to the fourth Human Living Summit 2022. Thank you very much, Forbes Africa. Thank you very much, Fourth Woman Living Summit, for making me part of this. And this is a very big opportunity for me, and I'm really, really grateful. Many years ago, I can never believe that I will be part of such a big platform. As a woman, what I can tell everybody here is I am so proud to be part of the Fox Women Leading Summit 2022. And, and I want to tell you, all women and every girl out there, it's time to work hard. It's time to be encouraged. It's time to be empowered. It's time to believe in yourself that you can do it. The strength of woman is who you are. Thank you very much, Forbes Africa. I'm so honored to be part of this project. Revealing our next award, let's give a round of a virtual applause to everyone recognized this evening. As we do come to the end of tonight's awards, our lineup of recognitions would not be complete without the Forbes Woman Africa Lifetime Achievement Award that brings us to the culminating award of the night. Who will win the 2022 Forbes Woman Africa Lifetime Achievement Award? The winner in this category would be a truly exceptional and respected leader in business, society, arts, sports, or public life. She will be revered by countries and companies for being a dynamic and visionary leader with decades of compelling work behind her. She continues to be a phenomenal force in her chosen sector, having developed the next generation of leaders. This award will sum up her work over a lifetime as she continues to forge ahead, inspiring change. And to announce the 2022 Forbes Woman Africa Lifetime Achievement Award, may I please call upon Mr. Rakesh Wahi, Vice Chairman of the ABN Group and the founder and publisher of Forbes Africa. I'm very pleased to announce the winner of the 2022 Forbes Woman Africa Lifetime Achievement Award. She needs no introduction. She is a powerhouse and the former United Nations Under Secretary General and the Executive Director of UN Women. Throughout her career, she has directed her energy towards issues of human rights, equality, and social justice with a specific emphasis on gender and youth development. Throughout her political career, initially as a member of the first democratically elected South African parliament, then as deputy minister in the Department of Trade and Industry, 
as Minister of Minerals and Energy, and finally, as Deputy President of South Africa, she worked tirelessly on programs and policies to reduce inequality. Today, she's also a founder of Umlambo Foundation, the 2022 Forbes Woman Africa Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Fumzile Lambo Nuka. The Forbes Woman Africa Lifetime Achievement Award, Pumzile Mlambo Kuka, founder of Umlambo Foundation. Pumzile Mlambo Kuka is the former United Nations Under Secretary General and Executive Director of UN Women, finishing her two terms in August 2021 after being sworn into office in August 2013. Throughout her illustrious career, Pumzilem Lambutkuka devoted herself to issues of human rights, equality, and social justice, with a specific emphasis on gender and youth development. She was the first woman to hold the position Deputy President of South Africa from 2005 to 2008, overseeing programs to combat poverty and bring the advantages of a growing economy to the poor, with a particular focus on women. Focused on upskilling women, she continued along this path of community service and upliftment when she opened the World University Service in South Africa, where she promoted literacy and rural development. She assisted with the resettlement of former political prisoners and exiles. She also led her own consulting agency called Pumelela Services, where she focused on organizational development, race and gender issues in organizations. Despite her extraordinary workload, she continues to be affiliated with organizations devoted to education, women's empowerment, and gender equity. These include the Umlambo Foundation as the founder of the Global Partnership and Fund to End Violence Against Children, the Princess Savika Bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women's Empowerment, African Leadership Academy, and the Mandela Rhodes Foundation. She is a notable individual with a track record of achievement, leadership for the development of society and community service. We look forward to her ongoing leadership, vision and effort. Thank you Forbes for celebrating women at this very difficult time. We are coming out of a pandemic which hit women disproportionately. We are also seeing wars that are impacting on women and children again disproportionately. We hope you can, through this initiative, help us mobilize more women to be in, in solidarity, to see that we can protect women and to hope that women ascend to positions of leadership where they can make different decisions about the future of humanity. Once again, thank you so much for this re recognition. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Now that is a truly well-deserved recognition. Congratulations once again. This night has been a night of accomplishment and celebration of strong women leading the discourse. Surely there will be more new luminaries uncovered in the coming years. But we do thank you for joining us this evening and being such a great audience. And as we take in this tremendous moment, a toast to the epic achievement of our winners tonight. Your bold achievements and visions brought to life have built the companies and the communities that we see today. With every action, you have written your names in the pages of time, seized the hearts and minds of the present and inspired future generations. May your endeavors continue for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to bring to a close the 2022 Forbes Women Africa Awards. Congratulations to all our winners and a great thank you to all of our sponsors and partners who have made today a massive success. Our sponsors, MasterCard and MultiChoice Group. A special thank you to Gert Kutsia, who has dressed myself and the gorgeous Tanya in this fabulous couture, as well as a thank you to the Africa Business News production team. Well done to you all and congratulations. With that said, it is time to officially bring to a close the fourth annual Forbes Woman Africa Awards. A big thank you to all of you, our audience who have journeyed with us throughout this evening. 
Have a great night. My name is Fifi Peters. And I'm Tanya Habimana. Goodbye.